Hi, I'm Ryan. And I'm Alina. And today, we're going to bring you around the city to show you why so many of us love to call Sheffield home. If you're wondering why you should drop everything and move to Sheffield immediately, here are a few reasons. Sheffield is a diverse and inclusive city that is home to 60,000 students. And the most affordable student city in the UK. There are hundreds of independent shops, cafes, bars and restaurants. And if you love vintage shopping, you'll love Sheffield. We have two major football teams. There's ice hockey, basketball, rugby, and it's home to the Snooker World Championships. And you can get involved in university sports clubs and compete in Varsity, the city's biggest student sporting event. Sheffield is right in the middle of the country and is easily accessible from other big cities in the UK. A third of the city lies within the Peak District National Park, and it's a super green city with over 250 parks and woodlands. If you're into live music, art or film, there's something for everyone. Chef thrives on creativity. It also has one of the largest regional theatre complexes outside of London with tons of West End shows passing through. So if you don't already want to move here after learning all of that, here's more to get you on board. We'll start at Division Street, which is a five minute walk away from our student union. Division Street's where you'll find back-to-back -back independent shops, cafes, restaurants, bars, and vintage shops. Steam Yard is one of our students' favorite cafes. They serve homemade sandwiches, donuts, brownies, and of course, top tier coffee. One of my favorite places on Division Street is Plantology. I love house plants. Just look at them. When you get to the end of Division Street, you're basically in the city center. The Moor is the main shopping street in city centre. It's home to all of your favourite high street shops like Monkey, and we've also got the only weekday store outside of London. This is the Moor Market. Here, you can buy a huge range of ingredients and products from all around the world. I have no idea what this is. Hello, love. Would you like to taste the olives? Yeah, of course, olives. I love olives. Just to wash your clothes, don't drop the oil. Uh, oh, that's very strong. Yeah, nice. On the moor, you've got the light cinema. Here, you can get all of your usual cinema snacks, and there's even a bar and a pizza area. And yes, you can bring the pizza in with you. Commune is one of the many food halls in Sheffield. Here, you can sample lots of different cuisines all in one place. Just past the end of the mall, you'll find the new era development, which is filled with restaurants, street food stalls, oriental supermarkets, and many more shops. And if you really love shopping, you can jump on a tram and head down to Meta Hall Shopping Centre. There are tons of designer shops, restaurants, and it's even got a cinema. Next, Ryan's heading down to Kellam Island. Here you'll find remnants of Sheffield's industrial path. Kellam is full of old warehouses and factories that are now food halls, tap rooms, restaurants and cafes. It has its own museum where you can learn all about the history of the steel city. And once you're done, you can head for a drink at the Island Cafe. Hiya, uh, can I just get an elderflower spritz please? Yeah, cool. Heist is one of the latest additions to Kellam Island. They sell a range of local and guest beers, burgers, loaded fries and donuts. Kellum is also home to the Peddler Night Market, which is where local food vendors and independent businesses set up stalls for a couple of weekends a month. It's also one of the many places in Sheffield where you can catch live music. Right, now we're going to head to Sharervale. Sharervale is just behind Eckersall Road off of Hunter's Bar and is a food lover's paradise. We've got Greek food, seafood, bakeries, donuts, a deli and much more. Hmm, that's really good. You can find street art all over the city and on Cheryl Vale Road, you can find Pete McKee's art gallery. Living in Sheffield, you become pretty familiar with Pete McKee and you can find lots of his artwork all around the city. Nam Song is a Vietnamese coffee shop founded in Sheffield. That's one just off Cheryl Vale Road and they do Vietnamese street food and the famous Bin Filter Coffee.
Nam Song translates to five rivers in English, which is an ode to Sheffield, which is built on seven hills and five rivers. Next up, Ryan's Down on London Road. London Road is one of Sheffield's most diverse and multicultural shopping streets. Here you can find shops and restaurants celebrating cuisines from all around the world. There's Chinese, Mexican, Turkish, Thai, Italian, Greek, Middle Eastern taverns and so much more. London Road is also where you can find one of the biggest international supermarkets in Sheffield. Or you can make your way down to Abbeydale Road to Picture House Social and spend your entire evening playing ping pong, eating pizza, or even trying your hand at shuffleboard. Finally, we'll head up to where most of our students live throughout their time at uni. When our students move out of halls, they often move to Broomhill, Crooks or Crooksmoor. In Broomhill, you can find a range of pubs, restaurants, cafes and shops. At Naughty House, they're famous for their pies, especially in those chilly Sheffield winters. But you have to have your chips with gravy, obviously. In Broomhill, you can also find the Steel Cauldron, a wizard-themed cafe and tavern. From Broomhill, you can head up the hill into Crooks, where you can find more independent shops and places to grab food and drink. Two Sheds is one of many micro-pubs in Sheffield, so if you're into your beer, you won't be short of new places to try. Crooks is also where you can find one of the best views over the city, at Bull Hills. It's a great place to catch the sunset too. So if you want to find out more about Sheffield and why it's such a great city to live in, head over to our YouTube channel to check out some of our other videos.